Church here, and welcome to the Game Grinder. Today I'd like to do a, another unboxing video. I know you're super excited about that, but this one's kind of cool. So this is a game that originally just had a digital only release for the PSP, and there is a company called Gaijin Works who decided that they were going to do a physical limited edition. Uh, I believe it was the amount of people that pre-ordered it is the amount of copies that were made, so um, it is you know, considerably a limited release, especially for the physical edition, and uh, I thought the game looked kind of interesting. Uh, wasn't anything that I was like excited for, but it's a cool looking uh, tactical role-playing game, and I just dug its look. Price was pretty nice, so I was like, sure, why not? And so I went ahead and decided to pre-order that about a year ago, and it's been kind of mired in delays since then. I believe it was originally supposed to be released in September, maybe October, and there were some shipping issues and distribution issues and port issues and all kinds of issues, and it finally started arriving uh, with pe two people this week, and... Um, People are posting it online, and I was like, hey, where's my copy? And it was about four days later, it randomly showed up. And yeah, so the game is Summon Night 5. The, the box doesn't actually say that anywhere on it. But um, so I will say that I had a huge beef with how this was delivered. So this box, as you see it, um, is the box that was shipped in it didn't come in an additional box they actually stuck the label right on the box which i thought was pretty shitty um i'm i, I just don't understand why they would do that you'd think that they would put it in a box especially the fact that they know that this was kind of more of a collector's item because um with purchasing this, you also got a digital code for the game, so you could just play the game digitally and you didn't have to like open up your game and stuff if you didn't want to. But yeah, so I thought that was pretty shady. Uh, I'm not sure if they do these kind of releases often, but uh, I would definitely be questionable about um, supporting another one of their releases like that in the future. I hear a lot of people's boxes came pretty damaged. Mine's in pretty good shape. The corners are a little little rough, but, um, you know, no crushing or anything like that. But anyways, so again, uh, this is Summon Night 5, and the box is kind of neat, and I wish they would have kind of gave it a little bit more respect, so um, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. has a little dude saying, open quickly so we can make battle with much sweatiness, <laughs> which I'm guessing is probably some sort of joke in the game. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a cool box, so I'm surprised that they thought maybe people would um, maybe not want the box or something. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open this up here, and we can check out the contents. Alright, seal is broken, so let's check it out. So, opening it up here, um, like I said, it's kind of like a limited edition, so it comes with a few extra goodies. Um, the first item here is the Summon Night 5 soundtrack, which... Uh, Looks like it's a pretty good uh, selection of tracks. There's like 37 tracks on this, and I always think it's cool when they include soundtracks. Um, hopefully this is a good one and makes it particularly worth it. And then, of course, uh, we have the game, Summon Night 5, which um, has a sort of seal on the back, so it looks like they are numbered, uh, and mine is... 1,960, and I'm not entirely sure, like I said, how many games were released, but yeah, that's kind of neat, and feels like there's a hefty manual in there, and then I think that's about it, actually. I thought there was an art book, but I guess I was mistaken, but there is a kind of interesting uh, sort of insert here in the box, a little bit of cheesecake as you were, um, and... Yeah, so that is it. There is nothing in there, which is very interesting. You'd think uh, with a box layout like this, well, I'll do with that later, um, that there might be a little something more to it. So yeah, just uh, strange how they shipped it. Uh, I, I hear some people actually didn't even get a box, which is kind of surprising. Um, I would be pretty pissed if 
I ordered it and it didn't come with what everybody else is getting so like I said kind of questionable but hey I think it looks pretty cool um, again like I said Summon Knight 5 is a tactical role-playing game so kind of like along the lines of like games like Final Fantasy Tactics or Ogre Battle and those kind of games but I thought it looked neat the graphics look pretty cool um, so Hopefully I can get to this one soon and check it out, but in the meantime, it's going to get shuffled in the backlog like most of the games that I pick up. So anyways, uh, I would be interested to know your thoughts uh, if you have played this game. I know uh, in some of the Facebook groups I was in is actually where I learned about this. A lot of other people picked this up as well. So, um, And the digital key was sent to us back in November, I believe. So been a few months and I know there's been some people that have checked it out but I'd be interested to know your thoughts if you've heard of this one uh, what do you think about this sort of like limited edition these like pre-order uh, sort of thing where that's you know whoever pre-orders is who gets it um, and there are no more existing physical copies besides the ones that the people ordered <laughs> And what do you think about the, the, the whole shipping thing? Uh, do you think they should have put this all in a box? Do you care about the sort of external box or whatever as it were? But yeah, so of course, let me know in the comments below. And I guess that will do that for this video. And I will see you next time on the Game Grinder.